Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. I'm coming back to do your weekly reading. Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Sag, what's going on? We have the Two of Swords. We have the King of Swords. And we have the Moon. Okay. Someone not knowing what to do or what to say or how to say it. Someone could be scared of their own feelings or scared of their emotions right now. This could be your your person's energy that I'm picking up. Remember, the stories could be flipped or reversed. So please put the characters where they go for your personal situation. But I'm feeling like someone is scared a bit shitless over, look, how they feel. Look at that. Queen of Cups. Someone is scared shitless here. They don't know what to do, what to say, how to move forward. They are holding a lot of deep emotions for you. Let's get into it. What is this Two of Swords? An Emperor. Okay. Oh, some of them want to know if you're married. It, maybe some of you are separated who are watching. Maybe you're going through a divorce or something. Someone is trying to figure out if you're married. That's for uh, some of you. Someone is saying like, I don't know. <clears throat> If Sag is married or if Sag is with someone else, but Nine of Swords, you know, this is stressing me out. This could be stressing this person out that they don't know your status. The world energy. Someone could be concerned that this is over or they're worried about an ending, okay, of some sort. Show me that world energy, please. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Six of Pentacles. Let's get one more. The lovers, Gemini energy is here. Ooh, someone definitely wanting to give you of their love. They're very passionate about you, but they're stress and worry. Why is the two of swords, nine of swords here? The stress, the worry, four of pentacles. They're concerned about not having enough. This person could be concerned about their finances or they're not able to give to you this person could still be married for a lot of you page of pentacles and they're trying to figure out how to tell you that they're still married they've been holding back what is this king of swords show me the king of swords please for sag we have the three of pentacles here okay the nine of wands and the temperance for some of you this is a a significant other that you're currently dealing with someone who does not want this to end or to break up maybe this person was very into themselves i'm getting that someone was very arrogant very into themselves and their career and what they had going on sag someone did not pay attention to this connection when they were supposed to and it's like now they want to invest and give you the love or passion or attention or affection that you should have gotten. And now they want to work things out. They could be very stubborn and not showing you their feelings. And if this person apologized to you, it could have been kind of empty I'm getting or you didn't feel like it was heartfelt enough. And now they're holding on to you. This is your major arcana, temperance. Nine of Wands, they're holding on to you. Ooh, show me Nine of Wands. Could be a Taurus for some of you. For a lot of you, you were with this person for long term, like in a long term or committed relationship. Could be someone at your job as well. Knight of Wands. This person is still wanting this connection with you. Even if it never progressed to something deeper this person wants this with you and i feel like in the past they held back and they're thinking about this how they held back four of pentacles page of pentacles thinking about how they held back and only gave one little coin when they knew they had more to offer you and they only gave you one yeah what is this moon energy divine spirit holy spirit for sagittarius and this energy here with this person what is this moon card queen of swords now we have king and queen of swords yeah yeah this person knows you have your guard up 
magician gemini's energy is here could be a gemini for some of you Ooh. <laughs> seven of wands they feel like you're blocking them and this is their fear or that you would block them they're afraid they're very afraid could be a leo for some of you wow or a pisces cancer lots of major arcanas coming through this person wants to come in with the chariot energy and move this towards something stable and solid ace of pentacles high priestess <clears throat> they could be trying to listen to their intuition and figure out how to talk to you how to tell you this page of wands yeah with the ace of wands and the sun card they want to reveal something to you and this person is very excited to do this they are very excited to reveal their feelings to you how is sagittarius feeling at this moment how is sag feeling how are they feeling seven of pentacles okay how is sagittarius feeling ace of pentacles and the page of cups Ooh. Some of you have met someone new. A lot of you are saying, why are you just now getting to the point where you want to say something to me? A lot of you are saying, I waited for you. Why did it take so long? Yeah, to have clarity. Ace of Swords just popped out. Oh, how is Sag feeling? Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're all in your head about it because you're thinking... Why now? Some of you are thinking, why now? How is this person feeling towards Sagittarius? Show me their feelings or emotions towards Sag. The death card could be a Scorpio for some of you. Could be a Libra for others of you. Oh. Yeah, four of cups. Someone is definitely feeling very rejected after this. They want to make some type of offer to make this right, but they, they understand that there has been an ending. Some of you have separated from this person. Ooh. They're hoping this can be worked out. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. This person could be very different from you. It doesn't have to just be about race or culture, but they could be very different from you. As far as being on two different pages or how the two of you think or how the two of you process um, your feelings, your thoughts, your emotions. Maybe the two of you felt like you were on two different pages all the time. Potential outcome for this week. Potential outcome for this week. Six of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Page of Swords. There's a lot of watching and spying. Someone is feeling left out in the cold. And I feel like it's this person. They feel stuck like they don't know what to do. It could be a Pisces. <clears throat> yeah, they're wanting to come in. But at the same time, they feel like there could be a missed opportunity. They're definitely trying to get more information on you to see how you feel, Sag. <clears throat> Any insight you can give us on this situation, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Any insight you can give us? Twin flames. Whoa. Mm. Remember I said at the beginning someone could be married in this situation? Woo. One or both of you could have been stuck in another situation and wanting to be together. That's for some of you. Take it as it resonates. That won't be for everyone. The two of you know you're destined to be together or at one point... You felt very connected to this person. And I feel like you got tired of waiting for this person to either get a divorce or get set free. Mm. Twin flame energy is very difficult, you guys. There's always something where someone is stuck in either in another relationship, another country. There's always a lot to work through. Distance could be a big problem. Okay, or always on two different pages and not being able to communicate correctly. Runner chaser energy. And then we have mask. Yeah, someone has been hiding their feelings. And I said that said it at the very beginning. Someone wearing a mask, but they want to meet up. They want to talk coffee cup, hoping that things work out. 
Ooh, two cards fell out on the floor. Hold on. Okay. If I can get this other card. Okay, the same card. Coffee cup and then clock fell out. So this may take a, a lot of time um, for some of you to meet up with this person or this has taken time for this person to finally come forward and say how they're really feeling. What's the advice here for Sagittarius? Advice for Sagittarius. Look for a sign. Yeah, I feel like a text or a phone call, something is going to come in from this person. Yeah, they're hoping for a peaceful resolution here. They're hoping, <laughs> this person is hoping that you'll, you know, hear them out or vice versa. But look for a sign. I feel like some form of communication is going to come in from this person. Alrighty, Sag, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. You guys, if you haven't gotten my book, Sleeping Adam, it is available for purchase on Amazon. And also, Sophia Monet Apparel. Yes, you guys, get you something cute for the summer. Those links will be in the description box below. Check it out today. Get your copy of my book today, Sleeping Adam. And also, super thanks. If you want to simply donate, hit that heart icon right underneath this video and you'll be able to simply donate and support the channel. Also, if you would like a personal reading, yes, right now I am booking personal readings. The information is in the description box below. Shoot me an email, okay? Send me an email and we'll discuss your date and time. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.